linebackers. And that's another spot where, I, I don't, you know, Seattle signed a couple dudes in free agency to be inside backers. But, you know, Barrett is a late rounder. Uh, Colson's a second rounder for me. But those are dudes that, that I would try to find a way to get them on my team. How valuable is the number 16 pick? If you, if you, if you were John Schneider and you end up there – uh, and you want to trade back because they don't have a second rounder and we don't know what's going, you know, they have one third rounder, they traded away one of them. How valuable is the number 16 pick in this year's draft? It got a lot more valuable uh, today with the Bills trading Stephon Diggs because I, I think we're trying to figure out where that fourth wide receiver comes off the board, uh, that is something that is, is certainly a question mark now of, okay, where's where does wide receiver four factor in? And that's where, you know, if you are, you know, Buffalo – trying to get up there. Uh, even some of these teams in the 20s, there's going to be such a run on offensive tackles now um, that if you're one of those teams and you say, hey, we can't wait. We cannot afford to sit and wait. we got to go get a tackle. Uh, I think 16 becomes pretty valuable in that regard as well. So it is it is valuable. Um, I still think Byron Murphy would be, you know, he's, he's perfect for McDonald's defense. Uh, that's your Justin Matabuke type player. Um, I would be very excited to see him there. Um, obviously, you know, offensive line has, has been something a lot of people have talked about. But um, if Byron Murphy's there, I think you take him. If he's not, then you you talk about trading back. Uh, last thing for me, um, you know, we've heard famously with Ozzie Newsom for all those years, he's a Raven. Like, you know, part of the reason they were so good and have been so good and continue to be like. 